Johannesburg Coronationville lies Slobu, one of many informal settlements that surround Joburg Central. Resident of 24 years, Evelyn Ramuhai highlights active steps she took to make Slobu a home. Yes, and we used to pay 30 rands to get a place. You know why did we pay 30 rands each of us? It was because we didn't know how to find a toilet for us. So we thought maybe it will need money. So we must make a budget. After we find somebody who will get us a toilet, so we will have our money. All right, I went to, I myself, I went to a Kadrada informal settlement, which is nuclear. It was still nuclear that time. Is now Kadrata to look for our council because we didn't know who's our council of the place. And they promised us to find our council from <coughs> their council. And their council was Fadil Musa. And they asked Fadil Musa, so Fadil Musa said, He is the council of this place also. And then I asked them to bring Fadil to us so that we can we can know each other and he he came to us to know us and we know him he arranged the meeting with us in coronation recreation center when we meet there he asked us what we want him to do for us we first asked him to bring us the toilets he said to us he will bring us the toilets and then when we asked him how much will we pay, he said, no, we won't pay nothing. So we explained him that we got the money out of our 30 rents. We were still few that time. And for the toilets, he said, no, we mustn't spend anything. We must take our 30 rents back to those who registered us. Exactly, we, we found our 30 rents back. And then he brought us the toilets. Unfortunately for the residents of Slovu, the last upgrades they seen was the toilets. With no proper infrastructure, electricity or plumbing, there is often floods and fires, leaving the residents to feel as though this is not a place they want to be, but unable to leave. This place is not good for the people. The way I see, the way I am living. This place is too difficult to some people because all the time they, they, they get the farm and then there is no one who helping us if there is a fight. According the, there is a cancer, but if there is a fire here, the cancer will not come here to help the people. Already there is another, um, from two months back, the fire was that way. I tried to call him, cancer did not work. Even to, uh, last week, there is a fire this side. Somebody called the cancer, cancer did not work. I don't know what's happening because can somebody, if they know where, can just help us to get the cancer and do their job. Living in Slovu has made the residents adaptable, enabling them to build new shacks within hours of disaster. Because this has happened so often, people always keep spares around and others are always willing to help. With all the hardships they have encountered, the residents of Slovo are making the best out of their situation. Doing things like starting daycare centres and school programmes for the kids of their community. And although life seems hard for them, they have not given up hope, finding happiness in struggle. We